Hi guys, Darren Griffiths here for Jump Cut Online once again. I uh, hope you're all well. Uh, it's a double sitting for me at the moment. Uh, at this point in time of putting this out, I've just done the Synchronic one that you may or may have not seen. Uh, and now it is on to another film that I've seen today. Uh, it's been a triple bill today. Uh, all good though. Um, the film in question is Baccarat. It is a Brazilian mashup of sorts sort of in com sort of nix elements of spaghetti western um horror to a degree with its siege mentality um but its social uh and political commentary is very current uh, at a time where they seem to have a president that sort of relishes in far-right politics um and this feels like a cultural and political statements certainly from its filmmakers uh, and its actors. Um, so what is Baccarat? Baccarat, the premise of it stems ultimately from a returning home for a funeral uh, for the character Teresa played by Barbara Colan. Uh, you really get an insight to the life that all these people within this quite modest place uh, have to go through. This place of Baccarat has pretty much been written off the map. It, nobody, anybody who visits it basically just says, oh, we don't, we didn't realise this place existed in any form. It's like some sort of fantasy land for many people where ultimately it's quite grubby and downtrodden and murky. Um, and, but they've ultimately all seem to have been driven to this because there's no basic human rights within sort of deeply ingrained within this place there's no water um the various characters that inhabit it are just lumbering along um like there's very like the particular character that really stood out for me is delangus um she is like this doctor sort of garnering any sort of vaccines that she can to help these people but she has a dry sense of humor and i think in this time it's no surprise that she's sort of inhabiting this sense of humor to keep herself sane um but this the town becomes under threat very very quickly by various sinister figures who seem to have it out for them uh in the midst of a changing of the guard in its own political landscape um, that it very much hypes up um, to obscene and absurd levels um, that is very much in keeping with our current climate and who we seem to be electing uh, in various parts of the world. Um, so back around, it's, as you probably gathered, it's it doesn't hold back. It is a mixed bag though. I have to say, um, I, in various moments, it had very crowd-pleasing moments. I think the elements, the particular, sort of, it's like, as I say, it's, like, it's got this sort of siege mentality, um, sort of immediacy of a thriller that we, that I really respond to, and I'm sure many of you guys do, um, that particularly with the politics that it revels in and sort of tries to deconstruct it does have some potency to it which is much needed as a certain degree of urgency um, that the filmmakers have very much adopted here but the problem is i couldn't really connect with any of the characters it certainly feels like an experience and you get pepperings of various people and you get certain sequence like a handful of sequences that certain characters are prominent in as i say like dominguez and teresa um and but the, you don't really garner much from them it all feels very surface level um and particularly as it goes through the gears and slowly builds up the action and the violence which is particularly gruesome it again doesn't hold back um in any shape or form but again i think it very much represents the brutality of the world and the moral compass uh, at this moment in time there seems to be almost like a complete disregard for human life um that only the people of brazil could probably talk about in the, at least in this context 
but it's it's very apparent across the world really uh, and Baccaro very much feels like a putting up a lens to that um but i think a lot of it does get drained out by the violence and the fact that there's no real emotional hook with the characters that was a sore point for me i don't know where everybody else felt um in the screening or obviously other people who've seen it but i just feel like i wanted to really attach myself to their plight and while it's all well orchestrated in that particular sense like the first half is very slow and laboured for me and it and it sort of genuinely really tries to take its time but if it had proper character development to justify it then i would feel you know more attuned to its it took a while for me to really get attuned to its rhythm and its pace um but the second half because it's more sustained and has a more clear identity for me then i really started to respond to it um because as i say it is very absurd it has some very dry moments of humor and as i say the violence that unfolds is well orchestrated it sort of has an element of tarant i could almost imagine tarantino quentin tarantino really bop into this um in terms of how it's staged and framed i think and particular uses of music as well because it does have some very left field choices um one particular track from the 80s uh, which i won't spoil the band but it does make for a compelling face-off between um dominguez's character and one of the guys who is looking to take them out in a way and there's some real bigotry and prejudice that is underneath it all but they almost i think the one good thing about the film that, re that it really captures as well away from back around the, the other side of it they it's almost gleeful and there's no remorse and i think it captures that intensity impeccably um but the struggle that goes on i wish i was more invested in it because there's certain there's some real vitality to it it's very current it's very on the nose but back around there's certainly great entertainment to be had with it it's it's certainly beautifully shot um particularly the night sky sequences and sort of establishing shots that it peppers with and sort of gives moments of s serenity um away from all the violence i think that is all superb but I just wish it was more well-rounded, particularly in its character development. I think that's the main drawback for me um, that sort of holds it off just, only just from really stepping up a gear. But otherwise, back around, it's well worth a watch. There's plenty to admire. Um, as I say, particularly because of what it navigates. But I do wish it had more pull or gravitational pull with the characters to make the acts of violence more impactful not that they're not but i just wish it had a little more um oomph in that regard to sort of balance it all out um but that is a wrap on my review of baccarat um i just wish it was stronger because it, it as i say it is very topical and it's just a damn shame that I feel some of the um, intent gets a little muddled. Um, but that is a wrap. Jumpcut Online, Facebook, like our page. Uh, Twitter, Jumpcut underscore online. Uh, the website, www.jumpcutonline.co.uk. Uh, the last few review, last couple of days now for me, uh, the reviews that are coming, we've got St. Maud, which I'm so pumped for. I've avoided the trailer that dropped earlier this week, which is good going uh the other films we've got white riot which uh won best documentary feature at london film festival i believe someone may correct me on that um we've got calm with horses with cosmo jarvis and barry cohen and a f little film called perfect 10 which um the distributor the bureau have backed um uh, those will be my two films on saturday and um, but that is a wrap for now i've been Dale griffiths uh be sure to subscribe to our J junker online youtube page if you'd like which is below uh, but for now see you later take care and bye bye for now